Hey everybody, it's BC here. Welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And guess what? We're, what, episode 11 now? And I may have broken the game already. I know, I feel bad. But, uh, this thing here killed me. Like, five seconds ago. I wasn't recording. I took off, I went to go fly towards the gold container to see if it had anything left. And the thing, uh, Lagzilla, uh, the autonomous drone delivery system, um, I think the tank went haywire a couple of times too, but see what happens here. It's watching me. What's going on here? You gonna play nice now? Yeah, it was as I was going over the cars, I got to about here. And I think just started freaking out. It was all over the place. Oh, that was weird. I haven't seen that in a while. I might have to try to recreate that. I actually want to see if I had anything in here. But, as you can see, I have done a little bit of work on this. Did I not put the block there? No, I did. I actually want to see if I had anything left in here. No, I didn't. Uh, I was looking through the recipes about what we need gold for, and the only thing we need the gold for is those top-tier circuits. And the only thing we really need those for is large air blades, which they're expensive right now. I don't know how often I'd be using them, too. Uh, the large deuterium generator, which, again, I don't know how often I'd be using that. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at this box. This, the shadow's causing a, like, a weird illusion to me. And, uh, what's the other thing? Oh, yeah, the conveyor connectors. I do have about 100 gold right now, so it's it's not like I'm desperate for it. But, anyways, as you can see, I went ahead and put the blocks in all four corners here, or at the each end of both cars, or each end of the boxes, to just to prevent the container from slipping around. I might bridge it across, because if you look at this one here, it's sort of on the corner, but... I don't think the hitbox will allow it to fall through. And other than that, I did do some work on the, the engine here. I've doubled up doubled up the air blades. We're up to 40 now. Uh, they are both, all 40 of them are on directional and steering. And it's not uh, the pivot steering where the half in the back are opposite the other half in the front. It's all just left to right. And it, Works pretty good, gets about 30 kilometers an hour, which is, isn't bad. I was flying around at night and, and again trying to find a place to land this thing is a bit of a pain in the butt. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to reload here and see if I can get the, the physics to freak out again. I've broken it once, maybe I can do it again. Okay, here we are again. So there she is. So all I did is I just ran. And I started flying. I guess the physics couldn't catch up in time. Oh, you're going to behave this time, are you? Oh, sure. Get camera shy. Oh, I swear to God, this thing was freaking out. And the game actually locked up and I had to force quit. Oh. But there we are. We are ready to roll. So what I want to do today is I want to start getting, getting these containers in. Um, oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a couple of stacks of carbon with me. And every time we hit across a miner, uh, all the slots in the miner itself, I'm just going to put one piece of carbon in it. So in that way, it goes straight into the container instead of sitting inside the miner. Uh, do I have carbon in here? No. I really don't want to open up the lag box again. I've done that about ten times a day. Just want some carbon. That's all. See, that's like half my gold right there, but don't really need it. All right, we're gonna have to open up the lag box. Got tons of carbon. Just no, that wasn't too bad. Just a couple of seconds behind. That's all. Okay. So let us roll. Oh. Don't you go anywhere. Gonna play nice? Leave it to me to make a train with attitude. Alright, you're gonna play good. 
All right, so let's go head off to the south. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I figure we'll go for a nice little drive through the countryside. Uh, I'm actually going to record the whole trip, but just speed it up a little bit. I did take some deuterium with me. Uh, as you can see, there's a, a ninth generator at the back there, the red one in the middle. And that's just to make up for the other blades. We're up to 91% usage, and I've got about five and a half hours of fuel in this thing, so it's not too bad. But look at that, we're doing so much better. Uh, I did have to get some help from the, uh, the aluminum and the silver car, but she's rolling. Anyway, I shall m meet you at the next stop. Okay, sorry about that, my mic microphone's out of the way, but here we are, we are at the uh, aluminum silver mine with the uh, cobalt down there. Now, I'm trying to think of where I'm going to be able to land this thing, because i got to be able to be on a somewhat flat surface. That's not going to be too habitable, or inhabited, I should say. Now, I do have the flyer here, so it's not like moving a container half a kilometer is that big of a deal. So maybe, if it's not a populated area, maybe I'll try to drop down over here somewhere. I also got to make sure I do a save and, re save and load before I even look at those containers or the miners. This looks like a relatively acceptable place. <laughs> It's actually these containers right here I, I need to get to. So let's drop it down and see how we are for levelness. I don't know why those other ones don't want to go down. That is fine. That is fine because we are here. You know, I was also thinking about the gold situation too. I might, every once in a while, if I happen to see gold, maybe I'll just pick it up. It's not like we need a whole lot, but. You're going to behave, are you? All right. That's actually getting dark, too. Uh, I didn't bring a sleep chamber. Uh, let me take a quick, quick nap, and I'll bring you back when I'm going to swap the containers. Okay, here we go. 
So what I want to do first is, like I said, I want to actually do a save and reload. Hang on. Okay. So I should be within loading range of the chunk. So we shouldn't have any issues. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Okay, you are full. Okay, so that's good. And this is still producing aluminum. And yeah, we got a little bit of gold too. So what I need to do is actually... I need to... Transfer all this into here. Transfer that down. Oh, you're not going to let me do it, are you? Oh, damn you. Hmm. Alright, well... I'm just going to have to transfer it over. So then what I'll do then is I'm going to let this gather some carbon. So next time I come here I can use the carbon. Hopefully. Let's see if it'll let me do it on this one. And again this one reset on me. Ah, I can do it in this one. Uh, this one keeps resetting on me. So... What do we have in there right now? Come on. Let me in. Let me in. It's like this guy can't walk over top of anything. Alright, so this was the silver box. Well, we're going to have to have a little bit of aluminum in there. I actually came by here not too long ago and grabbed some, some silver. It's, uh, no, we want the gold. Uh, don't care about the titanium, we actually have a mine for that, and this is just straight silver. Okay, so hopefully that's going to stay. So we have, we do have something in there. But we do have some in here, so we'll come and grab these, and then I'm going to go and uh, check the cobalt too, because that was just over here, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, and the fireflies. Huh. And here we go, game break in progress. Been a while since we've seen this. Physics, I love you. It's a good thing I just saved it too. And yes, I am still <laughs> still frozen. Alright, I'll I'll be back. Okay, I am back, and this is why I don't trust autosaves anymore. So, let's try this again, shall we? I'm gonna head down to the cobalt mine. I'm not gonna worry about this. I gotta. I'm actually gonna get it all set up and then camp out here for a day or two and let it fill up the container. Come on. Yeah. I saw that. I saw that. Oh, go away. I'm doing, conducting science experiments here. Okay, well, this uh, confirms one thing. We gotta plant this thing. Alright, what am I gonna use here? Let's, uh, let's just use the post so it's easier to take out because I can actually see where it is. All right, plant, please. Okay, you. I'm not gonna worry about the containers. The containers should be fine. It's these hinges. Okay. Well, we won't talk about that. I don't know where that hole came from. I'm sure I put it there. Oh, and you're too close. All right. 
plant that, plant that, and of course, plant you. All right, now let's see what happens. See if we get any floating containers. Wait for it. Hang on. And my jetpack fill up a little bit. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling it's just the hinges causing it. So the containers should not go anywhere. Okay. Okay. No skyboxes. Awesome. All right, let's see what we got going on in here. I'll probably have to reset this one. I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably stay here a couple of days or whatever to get these things filled up. And of course you reset too. <sighs> I'm gonna have aluminum everywhere. Okay, well, I am gonna turn that off. We're gonna go back up here, set these ones up, and then I'm gonna take a a little bit of a hibernation and bring you back when we're ready to load up the freight plane. I just want to go see what's going on with these. You know, I'm actually surprised these containers haven't gone anywhere. But it really is the functional blocks, the rotating plates and the hinges and everything else. Okay, you're still set to aluminum. You are still set to everything. I don't know why. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go hibernate for a little bit and I'll bring you back. Okay, it's been about two days in game. We got a half a container here. We got half a container here, it's awesome. And probably got the same on the cobalt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and swap these containers out. We're gonna place the cobalt, the silver, and the aluminum. Uh, we'll drop the empties down. We'll pick up the, the half full containers and bring those back to the, the lab. You know, I'm actually surprised they haven't, I know, I'm not going to regret saying this, but I'm surprised they haven't added inventory weights into the equations. Okay, I thought it was still stuck there for a minute. i got to zoom in a little. Alright, so, let's go ahead and pick up the aluminum box. Probably won't do all of these on camera because you have an idea of what's going to happen, but you never know when I'm going to break the game again, so it's always handy to be recording this stuff. Oh, I, uh, I got a little sloppy with my paint can there. I have a red air blade on this thing, and I'm not getting my position. Come on. All right, well. I'll save you the trouble. I'm going to swap out the aluminum, silver, cobalt, and then I'll bring you back for the journey up to the desert. Okay, I am all loaded up. I have half a container of aluminum, I have half a container of silver, and why is this sitting funny? Oh, uh, it'll settle back down. Yeah, I was uh, trying to it's kind of hard to load these things up when it's uneven like this. And we should have a little over half a container of cobalt. Well, not even half a container, but you know what I mean. So now, now it's time to go get our titanium and our xanite. So I'm going to start by unplanting this thing. I probably should have saved, but... Ah. We'll be fine. And a game crash. Ugh. Okay, I'm all loaded up again. I'm just gonna make sure I got the right containers. Okay, aluminum, silver, and cobalt. Yes, and I have saved a few times. And I just saved before I started recording again. So let's see if it was just the autosave that killed me. Or if it was my build that killed me. Okay, there's one. There's two. There's 
three. There's a four. Ooh, auto save didn't kill me that time. Or break the game, anyways. Uh, it was. Oh, yeah. Five. And six. And of course, the engine. And I'll take this with me. Why not? Always good to have a sleeping bag, right? Oops, I guess power helps. Alright, so next stop, I think we are going to head toward. And go right over the F mine. We're going to head right up to Xanite. We'll take the long route. And then we'll head back to E, then back to the base. Alright, so let's go ahead and power up. Okay, make sure it's actually running. Alright. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Uh, let me out. Thank you. And off we go. Okay, here we are at the desert, and believe it or not, it took about 40, a little over 45 minutes to come from all the way down here, which seems about right. So, yeah, it's not exactly the fastest form of transportation, but hey, there's always room for improvement. Now, I'm pretty sure I've done the save and load. I actually can't remember if I did or not, so I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so let's see how much we have in here. Not much. Why is it getting iron? Well, I'll take the gold. I won't complain about that. Temperature shield nearly depleted. Ooh, well, uh, I was actually going to put a stasis chamber down. Uh, sleep the night away. Where is it? Oh, before I die. Okay. Go ahead and finish that up. Take a quick nap. And hopefully this is going to keep me safe, even though it's not powered. Alright, good enough. Yeah, well, we'll sleep. We'll spend the night here. Why not? Watch the sun go through the sky. It's kind of odd, huh? We're asleep, but our eyes are open. Gotta watch out for the boogeyman. Oh, that's cool. The moon's a different size when you're here. Because when I was coming back this way, I saw the moon in the sky, and it was... It was about three times the size. Okay, so we are good. We're actually gonna see what else we can take out of here that we could use. Uh, use the titanium. Pick the silver. And nah, whatever, we'll just take whatever. Xanite we can. And that should be good enough. Okay. So, let us get to so, uh, keep an eye on that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be in the flyer soon. <laughs> That's a fun bug. Yeah, if you hit space as soon as you touch the ground when you're out of power. You shoot off like a rocket. Okay, so let's back this thing up. We're gonna unload the empty first. I gotta admit, this thing is like super maneuverable. It drifts though. Were you trying to steal my stuff? Yeah, you better run. You saw that, right? He was trying to steal my air blades. We might have to go teach them a lesson. I'm go destroy their home. Oh, yeah. I gotta zoom in to do this. It's too hard to do this far back like that. Okay, so I gotta position it because I never actually did go through this process at the cobalt. Yes, there's definitely. A learning curve, but I'm trying to do something that I don't think many people have tried. I'm not saying nobody has tried because how do I know? 
there's tens of thousands of people that play this game. You never know what people have tried. I have seen some amazing things. And I have done some amazing things. Okay. I'm going to just drop it down like this. Hopefully on a flat enough area that I can pick it up. Okay, we back out. Up. And... I want to have, have them all facing the same way, so when I go and unload these things back at the lab, that I'm actually going the right way. Or that I don't have to turn around, because I need to have that conveyor connector pointing that one way. I could put another one on the other side, I guess, but then that starts to get expensive. Okay. There is our load. They almost feel heavier. Like when I lift them up when they're full. Yeah, my original idea for this was supposed to be like, uh, almost like the the freight, the ocean freighters that carry the carry the shipping containers. But I was thinking about like loading with it. Uh, you would have to have a balanced load, or else it's going to be, well, going to have the same thing with this too, but I don't know. I always wanted to make a train, and now I have. Perfect. Uh, I won't say perfect, but good enough for BC. Okay, so now we will get to the container, we drop that on, and then we are good to go. I think I'd be good at flying this thing by now. Not the case. And then after here, we gotta go and get our titanium and then we can go home. Like I said, I'm not gonna worry too much about the gold because, you know, we're getting gold from other sources. And there we go, up we go. And this one, it's a little tricky to position. Wish I'd made this thing a little more balanced. Because when it sits at the back of the hooks, it's almost, almost balanced. But if I have it at the front of the hooks, at the open end, then it's front heavy. Okay, what am I doing here? Yes, this is what I'm doing. Back it up. And... Whoa. There we go. Just, just go until we see a green light and then drop it. Okay, so there we go. That's our Xanite. Now we go pick up our Titanium. And then we just gotta unload the containers back at the base. At the lab. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all parked and unplanted and add the next mine and I will see you there. Alright, here we are at the Titanium mine. Uh, 20 minutes later. Yeah, definitely not the fastest form of transportation, but it works now I'm in a bit of a situation here because I don't really have much of a spot to land so I'm gonna try something daring and I, I pray to God the physics don't freak out on me when I do this but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get that titanium car right about where I'm at right now and see if I can plant it and leave just leave this thing hovering and hopefully hopefully we don't have any problems but, again, this is BCP Labs, and anything can happen. So let's go a little bit more. Just nudge it. What worries me... Okay, let's get out. Let's go and, uh... Get my planting stick ready. 
and see if we can do a switcheroo without anything going horribly wrong. And just to be on the safe side. Yes, just in case. Because I don't know what's going to happen when I plant this. Is everything else going to freak out? Um, that's what I want. Actually, what I'm thinking I might do. Alright, that works. That's not what I wanted to do. T. Yes. What I actually want to try to do, and see if I can actually take off with the land, uh, the flyer. I swear to God, my jetpack is getting weaker. Uh, do I want to do that? Let's actually see what happens when I try to lower this thing to the ground. Alright, I think we can live with this. Just get it off the rock. I said get it off the rock. Gotta like how the rocks break so easy in this game. Alright. So now. Now we should be safe to turn the power off. I'll manage to get that in. Not gonna be the hardest, worst parking job I've had to deal with. Okay, so. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta plant everything here too. Uh, let's. Let me t take care of the planting, let me take care of the sleeping, and in fact I'm just going to swap out the container and I'll meet you back at the base. Alright, I am finally back. This has been a nightmare of a journey. Uh, not only did we have a couple little incidences, little mishaps, sorry I'll just use that <laughs> instead, uh, at the beginning. Uh, after I did the titanium thing, I went and uh, swapped out the con titanium container and put this one on. Got like a couple of stacks of uranium rods out of the refinery at the same time. Uh, I put the loader back on, hopped back in this thing, and I could not get off the ground. I had everything unplanted. I replanted, planted again. Let me find out my uh, landing spot. We're going to have to build a train station for this thing. Uh, let's see. Greenhouses are there. So there's where we got to be. I can see my little patch mark there uh, but yeah I was having so many so many so much trouble trying to get this thing off the ground I knew I wasn't at the flight height because we were flying around I knew it wasn't too heavy because it was actually flying and I was trying and trying for a good half an hour and then the last thing I tried which actually worked where am I landing here I think this should be pretty good as long as I don't land on the base the lab Yes, the lab. Uh, well, yeah, I got the loader back in. I thought I'd try taking the loader out and do the save, reloads, replanting, unplanting, all that stuff, and nothing was working. And then I hopped back in. I was mad. I was holding forward. I was going left and right with the air blades. And I guess because the way the hinges were all sort of at different angles, I think I'm in a good spot here. Yeah, I'll be fine. Uh, let me finish this in the morning. Well, it's raining, but at least it's not dark anymore. Uh, I also wanted to get away from those gutillas too. But because uh, the hinges are going different directions, I guess, maybe when it was trying to lift, this was trying to bunch up with that, and it was bunching up with the other ones down the road. And I, when I started wiggling it, it was actually starting to sort of move, and I knew that, what, that it, it wasn't bugged or anything, because when I turned the power on and off, it would sort of lift up just a little bit and drop down. I could actually hear the air blades spin up. I could move them and all that stuff, but I guess somehow it just didn't like it. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do, if I have the supplies on me, and I probably don't, is I want to get another row of air blades on there. I got enough for half of them. See, I got all that. Got all this stuff in here, too, because I want to try to get some more speed. Because, honestly, I spent probably about two hours running this thing. Uh, I hit my caps again. I actually want to see how much fuel I have left. I had about six hours when I left, and I think I spent about two hours driving. Come on. Yeah, uh, it's actually three hours. 
I had 550 something. But let me get some supplies together. We'll uh, put another row on there. We'll test out the train again. Or plane. Let's remember that plane. P L A I N. And uh, then we'll load up everything into the lab. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay, there she is. Uh, oh, good. I did keep the, uh, the fuel on me. Uh, so what it is, I just had another th a third row, same as the other two rows that are doing that. Uh, I do have some extra parts on me in case I need a little bit of extra lift, because I know they're going to help with the directional and the steering, but I don't know if these upper ones are going to con uh, contribute to the actual lift. So we are actually going to test that. So what i got to do is i got to see what, 23. Alright, so I just want to split these up. Let's see if we can get a, a 17 and let's see if we can get a 6 out of this somehow. 5 and a 4, there we go. 6 and 7. And we'll put that one in here and I put it at the front here to just uh, even out the weight, even though they're not too heavy. Actually, we gotta put one more in there. Oops, I hit the wrong button. And let me. Ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm going to fill this thing right up anyways. Uh, everything is configured, so I'm going to go ahead and unplant it and I replace the clock cockpit, put it back to the glass one. Now, where did I put my posts? My parking brakes. Uh, I was thinking about the la uh, where we're going to put the station. I think we might be able to put the station right over top of the miners, and that way we can cover up all the pipes and all that stuff, and we'll try to uh, get like a nice station going. Yeah, I I've got, I saw a movement there, i got like 20 or 30 stacks at least of the plates and frames, so we can start building it to like sm small block kind of deal, get the detailed color and the whole nine yards, so I think we are ready, hopefully we don't have an issue. I uh, also noticed too, it tends to sort of veer to one side or the other. I think it's got to do with the, where I actually position this thing, because this thing right here is about six ton. Oh, that scared me. I thought I broke the game again. That's uh, about six tons. Uh, was it 5,500 or something? All right, now I just got to turn the power on, and I, if I was smart, I'll, I would rewire this to the front put onto the very back of the, of the cockpit. All right, so let's see if we can lift this up. Good, I don't have to add any more air blades. It's got enough as it is. Now let's see what kind of speed we can get. See if we can actually get above. I was topping out 22.9. I don't think I'm going to get too much more out of that. That's good enough. Definitely turns really good. So now to bring it back and start loading everything up. So I'll bring you back when it's time to start unloading the containers. Okay, parking brake is engaged. So... Let's hop in here. We'll go turn this bat little guy on here. Oop. Missed. That's fine. And you know why that happened? Because I didn't have it lowered down all the way when I turned it off. Oh, am I even going to be able to make it up there? Uh, I don't think so. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Just caught it. Yeah, I, I noticed my jetpack hasn't been doing all that great. But yeah, I should have held the control down for a few seconds before I turned the power off. Because I was a kilometer up a mountain. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with the aluminum. Hopefully there's going to be like giant lag spikes once I get these containers hooked up. I'm actually thinking about taking the containers a couple of the containers out upstairs out sorry I'm trying to concentrate on this and it would help if I zoom in 
but yeah, take like maybe you probably have the containers out because I do have 24. I won't take them out, I'll just disconnect them from the conveyor system. Maybe have them on like separate storage systems. All right, so now we just line it up with the colors. And this saves me from having to move like 20 goddamn, or more than 20, probably like, I think I got about 30 to 40 stacks in each one. So all I gotta do is just line up the conveyor. Yeah, it's a little touchy. There we go. Uh, let's see if I can nudge it over a little bit. Again, strafing would be nice. Uh, as long as you go slow, take your time. Uh, you get the idea. As you can see, it's green, so that means I have aluminum in the system now. Not that I didn't, but uh, it's a silver I need and a cobalt and a xanite and gold and we'll have to get gold but uh, I'll bring you back when I got the last one being connected alright I'm coming up to pick up the titanium now uh, yes the container is blue because the original one I had put there was blue and that was before I decided to have color code in it I'm actually going to leave the gold one there because I don't think I actually have anything in there I think I have all the gold on me we'll actually get out and check here in a second Sometimes it's easy to get in there, sometimes it's not. It's usually because you're hitting that invisible hitbox. Being on an angle doesn't help much either. But I, I didn't want to make those hooks too tall. Uh, come on, get in there, you idiot. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna just lift up the tension a little bit. I'm gonna get out, and I was gonna. Oh, I was not gonna do that. Uh, oh, yeah, a stupid spacebar thing. Alright, let's see what's actually in here. Nothing. Okay, we'll leave that one there. No point in having it, just adds more lag. Alright, up we go. I love trying to fly these things. You got this 610 counterweight floating around underneath you, swinging back and forth. Should add some lights too. And this was the easy container, the one that had two ports on it. It's not a perfect job. I get like just a little jitter when I connect. And you will see that in a second. I'm probably going to name these containers too. Okay, I'm a little too high. But yeah, I'm thinking about having the station just like right over top of these mines here. And then probably install a beacon not only to help me find the base even though I did put a beacon on the roof there. But to give me sort of like a stopping point with the train. Good thing, they, good thing you can't break anything in this game yet. Uh, I've dropped these containers on these things a few times already. Alright, we're okay on that one. There we have it. So, we have restocked, resupplied. Oh, actually I gotta put that back on the... Get it back on the train, but we have restocked, we have resupplied, we have... Enough to get going, get some interesting projects going. Like I said, we're going to, I don't know what kind of a station we're going to go with, but uh, definitely try to get something going. And yes, we will be getting into these same old, same old. There's actually one I want to start working on soon. And my little red flyer reminded me of it. So, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like, and I'll see you next time in the lab. Later.